If the Kagyu school created the Living Buddha's reincarnation system, then the Gulug school brought the system to its peak. The Gulug school is one of the most influential schools in Tibetan Buddhism today. Ganden Monastery is the birthplace of the Gulug school located on the south bank of the Lhasa River. It will soon be Galdan Namchot, a time of remembrance for Tsongkhapa, the founder of the Gulug school. Tsongkhapa was a learned thinker and Buddhist theorist in the 14th century. The Gulug school was created by Tsongkhapa in 1409. Tsongkhapa was highly respected and famous during his lifetime. His disciple Shakya Ye Shu was met by the Yongle Emperor of the Ming Dynasty in Nanjing and he was given many gifts. These tankas were made by the finest imperial craftsmen and both Han and Tibetan elements. Their quality and vibrant colors still shine today. These tankas are exhibited in Ganden Monastery once a year. Many believers have made a special trip to worship them. In the early days after the death of Tsongkhapa in 1419, school leaders were chosen based on the inheritance from master to disciple, or Dharma succession. Later, the living Buddha's reincarnation system was gradually adopted and multiple living Buddha lineages evolved. Among these reincarnations, the most famous are the Dalai Lama and the Panchen Erdeni. Dalai Lama and Panchen Erdeni are two of the most famous In 1542, the master of Drepung Monastery, Gundun Gyatso, died. In the year of 1547, Four-year-old Sonam Gyatso was confirmed as living Buddha, which was known as Drepung Monastery's Tulku. In 1578, Sonam Gyatso established a relationship with Altan Khan, Shunyi king of Ming Dynasty. Altan Khan met Sonam Gyatso at Qinghai Lake and gave him the title All-Knowing Saint Vajradhara Dalai Lama. Sonam Gyatsu had a close relationship with the central government. The Wan Li Emperor of Ming Dynasty once granted him the title and seal of Dorje Chang. Dorje Chang, like Vajradhara, means the person who reached the highest achievement in Tibetan Buddhism. Sonam Gyatsu is considered to be the third Dalai Lama. Gadun Drupa, a disciple of Tsongkhapa, is revered as the first Dalai Lama. Gundun Gyatso was regarded as the second Dalai Lama. In 1953年的时候呢，甚至皇帝呢又封五世达赖喇嘛为西天大善自在佛，所领天下施教普通话赤拉达拉达赖喇嘛。达赖呢是蒙古语大海的意思，喇嘛是藏语上师的意思。这也是
，这两个活佛世袭之间的这关系呢是非常紧密的。比如说，在这个达赖喇嘛的这个认定这方面呢，历代班禅发挥了非常重要的作用。从五世达赖到十四世，除了一世达赖以外呢，这个历代班禅都参与了他转世的寻访啊、认定啊，包括取法名啊、剃度啊、传授这个经典啊这样的一些任务。